www.businesstraining.com. Globally recognized 100% online business training and certification programs completed in five months. Hello, this is Richard Wilson, and today we're going to talk about sales funnels. And this really relates to uh, oftentimes you'll hear in marketing and sales, especially direct marketing, it's important to first find a great market and then figure out what products to sell them rather than coming up with a product and trying to find someone who wants to buy it. And uh, sales funnels is, are really the way in which you can gather customers, um, have a long-term customer relationship, and just really dramatically improve the long-term customer value um, of each client that you have. And the uh, short definition of a customer value or lifetime customer value is simply, you know, from when they first start working with you and they first buy your first product or service to the last time they do, what's the average value of each client? And this might be $50 for some businesses or $10, and for other businesses it might be $5,000 or $20,000. And so it's important to know that number so you know how much you can spend on gaining each client. So if each client is worth $1,000, you know, you can spend several hundred. But uh, the point of a sales funnel is to really look at a market in the marketplace, look at the clients that you want to work with, and figure out what the first step in growing a relationship with them could be. It might be giving away a free video such as this, it might be giving away a free ebook, a uh, free report, um, maybe a free step-by-step -step instructions on how to do something important to your client. It, it doesn't even have to be something for free, but something that's easy to start a relationship. Um, the point is to start a relationship with just about as many clients as possible within your niche. So, for example, if you're in the business of consulting to small businesses, you might create some videos or you might create a ebook um, to start the relationship with giving them something that's either free or they cost $10 to $27. And by starting the relationship um, at that level, you do a few things. First, you make it a low risk proposition to get to know you and how much value you can give them. Uh, second, they get to see that for every dollar they invest, they're getting much more back from you. Next, um, when you gain that initial relationship, you now have a communication channel with that customer, and when you email them, it's from a place of trust or at least familiarity with who you are because they've bought something from you and you can reference that in your communications. And statistics say that somebody who's bought from you is more than five times likely to buy something else from you than somebody who's never bought something from you before. So the point in the sales funnel is to get you know the broadest um, level at the beginning of how somebody can start working with you. And then after that, you just build up the layers, 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 so you get to the very top where you have your most expensive product or service for that market or that niche. So after you have your basic service, uh, which might be an ebook or a short free video, the next level might be a teleseminar or a webinar. Maybe it's a $47, $97, $200 program of some type which is inexpensive and a different multimedia format than your initial sales funnel building block. Um, then after that, what you could do is have maybe a four-week you know, webinar series or an in-person training program or a series of books or reports to help solve your client's problems. And that way it builds up the sales funnel to the more expensive uh, product point. Maybe at this point you're at $500 or $1,000 and then at the very top of the sales funnel, you might have something like one-on-one -on -one coaching or you know, your master training program or some sort of expensive product or service so that you build people up to that most expensive service. And the reality is not everybody is gonna need your more expensive services and not everybody's gonna be able to afford the more expensive services. But by building that funnel, you can make money at each level of the pyramid and build those relationships so that more people are drawn and flung upwards towards your most expensive services and products. So I hope that explanation of sales funnels is uh, helpful to you, whether you're growing a sales career um, or running your own small business. Uh, this concept really helped me kind of focus my energy and focus our planning for product and service releases within our small business. And uh, thanks for joining us today.